This video describes how to put a filter into a GATA mask. The GATA mask comes with three parts. The silicon face seal portion, the disposable filter, and the filter frame. To start out, you've already washed your hands. And then you're taking a filter out of the pack of 10. And you'll notice that the, the frame here is curved. You want to have the filter go on the outside of, of the curve. And to install them, you'll notice that the frame has these little protrusions on the four sides. Those protrusions go into the perforations in the mask that are at corresponding points. So I'm just going to push the protrusion into the perforation of the filter. I'm pinching here and kind of pushing. I'm kind of pinching my fingers and pushing just to have pressure there to keep it from slipping out. And now I'm, I'm I'm actually twisting a little bit. To bend the filter frame a little bit so it distorts enough, deforms enough rather, to be able to bend and then be put into the filter frame. So that this is under some tension now. And now I'm just pushing. Unfortunately, there's not as much tension as I'd like for the sides, but it's actually not important because you'll see once we put it inside the silicone mask, um, it's not that important. Uh, these are under tension. So you can see now the filters on the outside curved portion of the filter frame. And the next part is easy, but maybe not intuitive. The silicone face sealed portion. This is the outside that the world seeds sees. And this is the side that goes towards your face. This is top here is where your nose goes. Uh, and for the filter here, this curved part is also where your nose goes. And so what you do is you just inside out the silicon face seal portion. And there's a lip here on the inside. You just need to put the filter and filter frame combo into the mask. I'm just going to pinch it and push it. When you buy the mask, it comes with two reinforcement frames. You only need one. The other is an extra. You can see I'm just putting a, that silicon seal around the filter and filter frame. Now I'm just right siding it out. And you're done. When you order, I recommend you get more filters. I mean, this will this for the pandemic, but also for uh, smoke when there's wildfires, when you're doing construction, concrete, etc. These would be good to use for all those circumstances. You might also want to get one of these if you're wearing the mask for a long time. If you want a tight seal, kind of puts pressure on your ears where these ear loops are. With these bands, which you can also get when you're buying the mask, same at gatapack.com. You can put this piece of rubber that like this, and now you can put the mask and have the pressure not go in your ears, but in the back of your head or neck. You can still atten uh, adjust the tension by adjusting these slides. When you wear these masks a lot, uh, and maybe if you wash them and lots of hot water in the dishwasher, this elastic eventually becomes loose. And if you anticipate doing that a lot, like you know, using this mask, you might want to order the mask, get extra replacement uh, elastic bands. Uh, you can just you know pop these out and then put in um, the replacements just in that same hole. Uh, and when you do your order, uh, use the coupon code uh, rebuy10 for 10% 10 off. Again, you can clean it these various ways or put it in the laundry. It depends on how much sanitization you need. 
I find these masks are much better than standard N95s because they actually do a better seal around your face. So no matter how good that N95 filter is, if air is passing along the edge of the mask, it's, the filter's not actually doing that much, or as much as it could. So that's why I recommend these. I hope you get them. Uh, be healthy.